Please stay to, with this uh, message till the end. Happy Sunday. Have a great day. It is Sunday. And I'm actually recording this on Sunday. Okay. Let me start off with this. If you or somebody you know is contemplating suicide because they're unhappy, because they're depressed, please seek out attention immediately. There's a lot of help for that. Don't let it go and don't give in, don't surrender. You're not going to be in a better place when you do that. You're going to be struggling until somebody prays for you to bring you to the light, but you're going to hurt a lot of people. So I believe this, you know, suicide, unless you know you're going to, you're going to pass away of a very horrible illness, something of that nature, that's one thing. But I'm not talking about that in this video. Okay, thanks for bearing with me. I got an inbox on June 21st from a woman by the name of Angela. Angela said she saw a TikTok video of mine and wanted to set up an appointment with me. Okay? We set it up for June 26th. On June, um, on June 24th, I woke up at 4 a.m. with a woman very impatient woman with me, strong woman, told me, no, you cannot wait till the um, 25th, which is a Wednesday, to do this session. You have to talk to Angela right away. So I contacted Angela the next day, and we moved it up a day. We moved it up to the 24th on Tuesday. Okay? During our session, her dad, it was her mom that came to me. Her dad was also there. And one of the first things her dad told me is, tell my little girl to be that strong girl, that she's a strong girl, and I know it. That resonated for her, and that's what she, when she realized it was, this was real, because her dad always told her that as a little girl. I mean, I saw her riding like crazy, going over jumps on a bicycle, having fun, being a daredevil. And that all turned out to be true. And dad doesn't want, did not want her to lose that daredevil, that strong, that, that powerful person. <clears throat> Mom also came through, okay? Um, Mom let me know that Angela took care of her. And it came out that dad had passed from an illness, expected. Approximately six weeks later, Angela's mom, who was blind, Angela was taking care of her, passed away unexpectedly. Angela left her job, okay, moved in with her mother to take care of her. Her mother was blind. Her parents were everything to her, a real family girl, if you will. Um, she was really having a difficult time. So she was real thrilled about what dad had to say. She was real thrilled that they were there. And it reassured her. But one thing they were telling me, okay, is that they didn't want her there. Didn't want her there with them right now. And it came out that she was contemplating taking her life. She said, yeah, she was somewhat suicidal. Um, thought, uh, had thoughts about it. And we worked for almost nine weeks now. As a matter of fact, I just talked to her yesterday. And I let her know. She wanted to be with her mom and dad. And I let her know that if she took her life, she would be walking in the gray. She would not be with her mom and dad. See, when people take suicides, and I don't care what anybody tells you, okay? I know I'm going to take a hit for this. I, I always take a hit for this, but bear with me. Listen, listen, don't just jump, okay, on this. You're not with those that you love. You walk in the gray. Now, how do, you, how do I get them? How do they go to the light? They go to the light when after the people that they hurt, pray for them and forgive them. And that might take a while. So for quite a while, you're gonna be in the gray, all right? And you're not gonna be with the loved ones. So you're better off doing stuff here. And Angela was told she had other things to, um, to look forward to, that she was strong. Again, dad kept, dad kept bringing that up, okay? 
and um, she had to stay with it. Turns out, Angela has the same issues her mom had. It was it's an inherited eye degenerative eye disease, and there's no help for that, no hope for that. She's telling me. I said, you know what? Do me a favor, and I got this from mom. Look into that because I think there's something out there. There's something new out there. Please look into that. Well, sure enough, she was looking. She's from Kentucky. She was looking through a magazine, uh, uh, you know, in, in Kentucky, and an article came through that in Tennessee there's a, a group doing research and making headway with this very disease. So she made, you know, she made plans to go down there um, and see what, what goes on. So she went from being hopeless on that to very hopeful that something would happen. But again, we talked a lot. And then I got her out of that desire to take her life to the point where she said, well, if I die from, you know, leukemia or a car accident, I'm good with that. I said, no, you've got family. As a matter of fact, it was her aunt that she's close to, her cousins that she's close to, that she would hurt if she did this. Her aunt, actually, we, we do, um, uh, you know, I think it's Google Meet videos. Her aunt was there one day. Her aunt got information about her husband who had passed away who I believe was her father's brother. I'm not 100% sure on that, so it was a long time ago. I don't, listen, when I do a session, it comes in here, out here, it doesn't stay here usually. Um, so I'm making a very long nine-week session, uh, sessions uh, short, short here, to, to the point, okay? Um, Angela was also concerned, she was going for a disability hearing to uh, help her when she goes blind, which she, was, which she would have been blind, she's, you know, I don't believe she's going to be blind. I think she's going to... She was worried that they wouldn't find in her favor. I told her exactly what was going to happen at that meeting. She texted me that day after she got out of the meeting. She said, I was 100% right. Exactly everything I told her came true. So she has to be, you know, again, she's getting messages to stay hopeful. All right, now, finally, about a weekend, week ago, on last weekend it was, we're talking, and what I didn't know, Angela told me, that she was going to take her life. She was in the garage, closed the garage door, getting in her car. When she, when she hit her phone by accident, she hit the TikTok app by accident, and up popped a video of me talking about anxiety. That's what led her to believe that she should reach out. Now, I'm not an egotistical guy. Those people that know me know that I'm not an egotistical guy. I don't make it about me. I have a hard time believing a lot of this stuff, but I have to believe because there's no, you know, although, the, yeah, there's no science behind this. Um, I told you about the 80-year-old the, the psychologist, I believe. If I didn't, you're going to hear about it, um, who told me that I want papers, I want studies, I want proof, and I told him, yeah, me too. So there isn't any of that. So what I have to do, I have to believe that the stuff that they give me is something I could not have possibly known, all right? Angela admitted to me, when she admitted that to me, her dad and mom let me know that was them, plus the hand of God was in that. They, will, they sent her that video to get a hold of me. Dad is actually the one that chose me. He chose me for my integrity, my strength, um, my my brutal honesty because I don't bullshit people. I, I lay it out just like it has to be. Plus something was really crazy, kind of funny. He said also he liked the way that um, I had been shot at several times and never surrendered. I, I got no idea. Um, I got no idea what that meant. But, you know, I guess that's, they see everything, all right? Um, so, listen folks. There's always hope. I mean, we have gotten her really as far away as we can right now for, I mean, a real far, I mean, she's at a distance from suicide. Do the thoughts go through her mind? Yeah, briefly, but then she gets rid of them. And that's because she, you know, she's kind of surrendering to that. There's no desire to do that. And, and I'd like to say that my messages to her were, were helpful, but I can't take the credit, okay? This, I'm only a vehicle that they chose. And her parents and God has a hand in me communicating with Angela. And we've got, we've got a long way to go, and we're getting there. And I'm proud of that. 
another story. Um, a young man, this is years ago, uh, was also going to take his life. His, he lost both parents at a very young age. And we talked a lot. And he, we got, I got him away from, pretty much away from the idea of suicide. I told him the same thing I told Angela. You're not going to be with your parents. You're going to walk the gray until you, whoever you, your family is here, and believe his aunt and his uncle took him in, are, are going to pray for you. So you got to stop. Well, one night I get a call from him. And this is why I don't like TV psychics and mediums because they're not, it's all about them. It's all about the show, okay? Uh, they lie, they don't, I, I believe, and I can, I got two strong examples about a well-known medium in Long Island, that she, how she hurt two families who lost children. So one day he calls me up and says, it was actually a Sunday night, or te no, he texts me. He said, I understand if you take your life, you're gonna be with your loved ones. I wrote back, that's not true. You are not going to be with your loved ones. He said, well, I was watching this woman from Long Island, okay, this medium from Long Island, and she told a woman whose daughter had taken her own life that she was very happy, that she was in a beautiful place with her other relatives. That probably was not true. I don't know the circumstances, so I'm not going to condemn her, but it's most likely not true because this woman, as far as I'm concerned, has no gifts anymore. If she ever had them at all, I don't know. I don't follow her. I don't look into her. But some of the stuff that she's told clients who've come to me who've seen her has been very damaging. When you go on television and you tell people that their, their loved one took their life and they're in a great place, you're, you could be promoting suicide. Do you understand that? And if Vinny did not have me to reach out to, there's no doubt he, would have he definitely would have taken his life because he, would have been, he was totally convinced he was going to be with his parents again. So please, folks, be careful. Be careful who you talk to. Be careful of people like myself, okay? But again, I, I can't stress this enough. If you're contemplating taking your life, get help, the help you need. By the way, Angela, Angela is also seeing a grief counselor, which helps, okay? So listen, I'll leave you with this. No matter what your thoughts are, no matter who you are, always remain hopeful because things do change. Don't feel as though the, they, things are the way they are and they're never gonna be different. Things always change and you have the ability to make that better and take that strength and work it and make your life better. It's all up to you. You can do it. Everything changes. Nothing stays the same. Do you understand? So, always remain hopeful, never hopeless. Always be optimistic, never pessimistic. It's the only way to live. It'll help you get through things a lot easier. I, I end almost all my videos when I remember. Sometimes I don't remember. <laughs> Sorry. With that. And there's a reason for that. Okay, please... If you haven't already, subscribe, follow me, like my videos, and feel free to comment if you want. Comments are always welcome, okay? Listen, guys, have a great day, have a great life, and remember, living a good life is worth it, and that is up to you to do. Take care. See you next week. Bye for now.